and welcome to the return of the ST2K show. This is Ron Moore, and I am joined by J-Man and Green K from the from ST2K. How's it going, guys? What's up? Nothing much. Going pretty good. And we're uh, our main topic in the show um, is going to be about YouTube. But I just found out before before recording that uh, David Carradine was found dead in his hotel room in uh, was it Bangkok? Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. Right before I hit record, I was like, uh, not not record, but when I was signing in to my computer and we get ready to do the show is when I just found out. And apparently, from what I gathered, I read it. I signed into MSN Messenger, and. Um, I don't know exactly what site I read it on. I'm going to have to go back and uh, I'll probably post more information on SC2K. Um, apparently, he hung himself and committed suicide. And uh, I believe he was 72 years old. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Uh, so this is a major shocker. And David Carradine, um, for those of you who don't happen to know who he is, and most of you probably do, He's um, he was a big movie star, and he's, I think, m- mostly known as... Kwai Chang Kang from the Kung Fu series, from the original uh, Kung Fu back then, and then uh, Kung Fu back in I think it was seventies or eighties is when it when it uh, first premiered. Early seventies. Yeah, and then uh, Kung Fu: The Legend Continues was was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid, which aired in uh, in the nineties on and it showed on Fox. Um, and so yeah, I mean. And he also he's also known for his role in Kill Bill Volume One and Two. He did not I mean, he did not show his face until Part Two, but he uh, you heard his voice uh, in Part One. And um, so yeah, I mean this is a real big shocker. He was uh, one of my all time favorite actors, but he was definitely uh, in some shows that I watched. I was like, mainly Kung Fu Legend Continues, and that's how I got to learn about him. And then in Kill Bill, he did an excellent job in in that as well. And uh, so it's real sad, sad and shocking. Um. Uh, what, so, what do you guys got to say about it? Um, I actually watched the movie last night that had uh, David Carradine in it. So that was uh, pretty strange to get up today and read what that movie? he had died. What, what movie is that? Uh, it was called. Uh, I have to look at the Big Stan. Big Stan. And, uh, Rob Schneider. Wait a minute, what, did that come out like last year or something? Um, I think it just actually came out on video or DVD. I, th- I, I, th- idea. I think I've seen that in a commercial or something. Okay, uh, yeah, it was, it's real recent. Um, yeah, he, he was, uh, his usual role, you know, like the, I think his name in the movie was The Master. So, and he was, he was pretty good in it. I couldn't believe that he was 72. Yeah. I always knew he was old. I mean, even Kung Fu Liz continues, he was old. Yeah, yeah. he looked old. But, um, well, Green, what do you got to say? Uh, like me, like, that's that's also a real shocker to me. Like, well, with all the actors have been, like, passing away and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, it's, just, it's just crazy now. Because, like, I see, that's all... Well, besides, like, hearing of this, like, we all heard about, like, what happened to Bernie Mac, like... Um, a bit before that and how he passed away like before they like released their last movie Soul Man yeah and it was just like wow it's it's really sad seeing like all these great actors like passing away like with things like this yeah really and it's kind of like uh, with me and wrestling uh, a lot of wrestlers from my childhood are passing away it seemed like almost every year or so I mean uh, you got Junkyard Dog, uh, Mike Awesome, Bam Bam Bigelow, Bad News Brown. We all know about the Chris Benoit tragedy and Eddie Guerrero and these people you watch over the years and whatever form of entertainment they're in, uh, and you know, just uh, all passing away, either uh, mostly, I hate to say it, either mostly drug-related or, or something. Uh, or like, what was it, in 2007? Is that when uh, Heath Ledger passed away? Um... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 07. Or, or, or might have been last year or 07. It was right before... No, it was last year, I think, because it was right before The Dark Knight came out. Is that right? I think they had just finished production, but yeah, I think it was before it came out. 
Yeah, and now David Carradine. Um, so yeah, I mean it's real sad that, especially if he, if he committed suicide. Um, yeah, I'll um, we'll have to see when that uh, when that autopsy comes out uh, because the I don't know that guy who always seemed happy, like in the things that I've seen him in. You never know. Yeah, I don't think anybody knew about Heath Ledger either. I mean, nobody really knows if, if he, you know, killed himself or. He was just, you know, it was just accidental, but. Yeah, well, I heard Heath. Know, you just never know. I heard Heath Ledger to this day was, uh, I, I mean, um, I heard Heath Ledger was, uh, he was so tired all the time and he was having trouble sleeping that he just happened to take, I think, too many sleeping pills. And I think he mixed it, mixed the sleeping pills with something else. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure about I don't know about all the facts and exactly how he died, but I know it has something to do, I think, with sleeping pills, or he just took too much of something to put himself to sleep, and then he just didn't wake up. Yeah, um, I think, um, I'm trying to think, because they said something about it, they're saying, like, he mixed sleeping pills from here with, like, European pills or something crazy like that, and it didn't turn out well. Huh. Yeah, but anyway, it's, a uh, it's real sad about David Carradine and, uh, Hopefully we'll find out more about what's going on. And when I when I uh, found out about Chris Benoit dying, I had came home from work, and uh, my dad left a voicemail saying, uh, "Call me when you get home. Something happened on wrestling. I want to be able to tell you. I don't know if you know about it yet." So I called him back, and he said, um, uh, "Vince McMahon. If he, this is during. I don't know if you two keep up with wrestling in recent years, but there was a ridiculous storyline where Vince McMahon was blown up in a limo." <laughs> And he was, fake, he was supposed to be dead or something. And so um, then, like, a few weeks later, this, the Chris Benoit tragedy happened. And my dad called me, called me, and then I called him back, and he said, uh, Vince McMahon appeared in an empty arena in the middle of the, uh, at the beginning of the show and said um, that Chris Benoit was, and his family were found dead in their home. Now, at the time, we did not know what was going on. We figured they, they got murdered or something. It didn't cross my mind that... Chris Benoit killed his family than himself, and that's according to the police report and, and all that stuff. And to this day, I'm kind of hoping that's not true, you know. And but and you know, I just uh, didn't think it was Chris Benoit that was behind it. And to this day, I'm kind of hoping, you know, it's something else. It's not the Chris Benoit that did it. Uh, and it just uh, it's so surreal. That took me a kind of took me a while to get over because that was like one of the biggest. Uh, it was. A big, a bigger tragedy than uh, Owen Hart dying. You know, it was. Uh, I think it's the biggest tragedy in wrestling since Owen Hart died. And yeah, uh, it's like, is I, I'm still unsure of that myself. I'm like, he definitely doesn't seem like a guy that would actually go down with something as big as that. Yeah, and I don't know. I mean, it's all just crazy. And I read something crazy on the internet not too long ago that, uh, you know, there's a lot of conspiracy theorists in this world and. One of the conspiracy theories I read on wrestling was that Owen Hart could be faking his death this whole time in order to retire, which just sounds ridiculous. But, yeah, uh, if somebody wants to retire, they'll just, you know, retire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but anyway, um, you know, rest in peace, David Carradine. Uh, he was an awesome actor. And so now let's move on to hopefully something that will uh, be less sad to talk about depending on your thoughts of the topic, YouTube. Um, <laughs> and YouTube, uh, you know, has, uh, we, are, we are on YouTube, and this is the return of the S2K show. Why not talk about YouTube? Uh, and YouTube has been around since, I think, December 2005. Is that right, J-Man? Uh, yeah, it's around that time. I think it was a little bit earlier, but that's, it's all the same. And... Google took over it, I think, in late 2006. Is that right? Yeah, sometime around that yeah. time. And ever since then, Google has made a lot of changes to YouTube. With the 10-minute uh, or 11-minute time limit, um, copyright stuff, and um, there's a lot of crazy stuff that's been going on on YouTube. Uh, there was yeah, even uh, sucks. Uh, there was even a uh, YouTube blackout day, I think December 9th or somewhere December. Um and I knew that wasn't going to really work and damage YouTube that much. But a lot of people were angry with uh, the recent YouTube changes, especially during that time where 
Some videos are going to be algorithmically demoted if they're deemed inappropriate, which means your view counter is going to be tampered with. Even though you may get a thousand views, but only say 700 or something. In other words, they're going to make the videos that are deemed inappropriate harder to find. Um, and there's a lot of controversy over that. And Google has changed YouTube a lot. Some people think it's for the better. Some people think it's for the worst. Me, I'm kind of in in, in the gray area. You know, like, well, uh, YouTube is a place to be to get noticed as far as your videos go. But at the same time, it's ridiculous how a lot of videos get removed. If if somebody posts a uh, sends a copyright claim in, you know it seems like YouTube will believe anything. And I, you know I can go to YouTube and send an email saying, yeah, J Man uh, stole my Double Dragon video. Uh, that's me commentating in the Double Dragon video, not him. He stole it. I want it removed. And they'll go ahead and remove it immediately. They'll just take my word for it. Uh, from what I heard, that's how YouTube operates. It's ridiculous. And I mean, I, I so.